uh, are you trying to sell any product or service to the customers in the market and you are not able to drive more sales for your business or for your entrepreneurship journey so in this video i'm going to tell you three steps if you follow these three simple steps you can make any sale you can close any sale yes uh, these three simple steps can help you to understand the need of the prospect and to maintain a relationship with that person so you can make more sales in the future also or you can get so much traffic so in this video i am going to share three simple steps to close any deal to close any sale in the world so without wasting any time let's start the video i am prashant agarwal business coach and entrepreneur and influencer marketing specialist let's start the video first point is understand the power of your subconscious mind yes subconscious mind is way more powerful than conscious mind conscious mind is nothing in front of subconscious mind so subconscious mind is like a hydra and the conscious mind is like a ram ram is random access memory whenever you want to take decisions or do anything ram is utilized so your conscious mind take decisions but when you need to carry out something uh, remember something or to calculate anything etc 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 everything is stored in your subconscious mind and this thing uh, called out when you call when you want some operation and uh, let's suppose uh, do you have any habit to wake up early in the morning if you don't know try this simple technique before going to bed just say i want to wake up at 5 am in the morning i want to wake up at 5 am in the morning i want to wake up 5 am in the morning uh, repeat this sentence up to 15 to 20 times uh, by after closing your eyes with full of concentration okay your subconscious mind will activate it and uh, when the timer hits 5 am you get wake up so subconscious mind works in every scenario if you want to make your sales happen what do you have to do just try to assume the whole presentation whatever the presentation you are presenting to that person just try to assume all the presentations you will you are going to present to that person and uh, that person is saying yes 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 every fucking time in the presentation after that you just have to close the deal you have to make a sale try to assume the whole process in your mind before presenting any idea to the prospect okay uh, that's the number one technique i used when i used to go to close any sale so this will help you a lot and uh, it will build out some confidence in yourself because when a person is uh, taking knowledge from you regarding any product or service they are not able to they are not going to buy any product or service they are going to buy your confidence so elevate your confidence elevate your knowledge so you can sell out any product or service so try to assume whole process in your subconscious mind and you gonna make a sale okay second simple step is maintaining the rapport you can't make a sale without maintaining a rapport with that prospect um, and without uh, consulting them because rapport is a uh, uh, building a relation with that person if that person can easily relate with you with your problems with your success then he, there will be more chances that he or she will buy your product or service um, at the end of the sale yes what you have to do you just have to maintain a rapport you have to maintain a relation with that person you have to make that person uh, feel that uh, you are relatable to that person okay during the whole process of maintaining the rapport you just have to say the things which your prospect can connect logically your every argument your every statement must connect logically with that prospect so uh, prospect don't get confused in the future and they can easily buy your product or service at the end of the presentation so try to relate with them when you are maintaining the rapport with that person you just have to work on two simple steps first one you care about that person generally you are not here to sell out any product or service you just have to uh, genuinely care for that person you just involved in the conversation understand the pain points of that person and uh, just like a friend just like a like his or her brother understand the problem of that person and try to present your product or service in form of uh, idea to solve out that problem second is associativity you just have to make that person relatable to that you uh, that uh, i also used to be that person or my uh, prospects was used to suffer from this pain problem now they are able to tackle it properly by using my product or service when you are able to associate with that person that person will 
uh, there will be more chances that person will like you and if that person will like you then he or she gonna purchase your product or service easily so first step just to uh, be generally interested in that person second associativity okay after that what you have to do you just have to maintain your prospect in a close tight uh, container of his or her pain points yes a close container of his or her points uh, you are digging down the problems of that prospect you are digging down the pain points of that person and when you are genuinely taking interest in this conversation you can understand that that person is suffering from that problem and how i have to present my product or service in form of idea to solve them so what you are doing you just consulting that person you are uh, digging down the problems of that person and you are consulting your prospect with your product or service to solve out their problems so be generally interested in that prospect and that person surely gonna like you and if they gonna like you they will gonna purchase your product or services easily and uh, many people say that uh, making a sale is an emotional process right it is an emotional process what you do what you did in first phase you connect with that person logically and in second phase you take interest genuinely interest in that conversation which makes that person emotionally connect uh, connectable to you so just be authentic just be genuine and take interest in that prospect so that prospect is gonna take interest in you in your product or services and the last final step is marketing yourself yes without marketing yourself you can't sell out any product or services uh, one more thing when you are building report um, report is not a constant form it goes up and down in the conversation so try to make it constant but definitely at the end it's gonna work it okay um, coming to the point marketing yourself what you have to do you just have to um, present yourself properly in front of that person and uh, find what your prospect wants when you are generally taking interest in the conversation you can understand the pain points of that person and uh, when you know what are the problems that person is suffering you can present your idea okay don't assume that uh, this person is gonna suffer from that problem you just have to uh, make that person say that uh, i am suffering from that problem how you can solve out this problem easily and during the conversation you have to ask open ended questions open ended there are two types of question open ended questions and closed ended question in open ended questions prospects say a lot of things until there is nothing left in the in that particular topic in closed ended questions the answer will be in yes or no form only so what you have to do you just have to ask open ended question and uh, when you are digging down in the conversation when you are digging down the pain points of the prospect you just have to ask the questions whose answer is yes yes when you are asking the questions whose answer is just yes, like is this making sense to you is this be fruitful for you okay uh, are you understanding that thing okay the answer is yes obviously the answer of all the questions is yes when you are you make the person uh, likely to say yes in the conversation many times at the end you will get yes while selling your product or services he or she going to buy he or she going to purchase your product easily so ask open ended question second ask uh, some question whose answer is yes to move in a positive direction of the sales so these simple three steps can make any person close any day but before this you have what you have to do you just have to make the person relatable and second you just have to build a rapport when you complete these three steps you have to show the testimonials of earlier customers that uh, how much they are satisfied satisfied with your product or services but uh, if you don't have any credentials but if you don't have any testimonials uh, then maybe that person is the first person you have uh, you are trying to sell your product or service so in this scenario the thing matter is your confidence as well as knowledge yes confidence in the form that whatever the thing you are selling is gonna worth it um, is gonna make an impact in the prospect's life and the second knowledge of that product uh, you have to instruct the person that how or that uh, how she, he or she have to use that product in a correct way so they can get the results whatever they want from these product or services if you make these things then you definitely going to make the sale so try to understand the prospect there are many sales person who just trying to pitch out their product or services to the customers but what at the end they say no your every effort um, was nothing what you have to do you just have to 
take care of that person you have to understand the problems of that person and definitely at the end you can make a sale so try to be genuinely interested in that person rather than selling out your product or services every fucking time simple steps and close any deal so if you have any uh, any type of doubt just comment down below and uh, i will provide you solution regarding your problem so subscribe to my youtube channel tap on the bell icon so you can get my video first because i am providing many business strategies as well as marketing strategies plus entrepreneurs experience and learnings so you can make a boom in your journey make an impact in the world okay so when you are building any company or brand and if you don't have prior knowledge or if you have knowledge but your company is not uh, generating too much profit or sustaining for a longer run what you have to do you just have to watch out that video eight simple steps to save uh, to make your company stabilize watch out right now